A very good morning to you, you crafty lot. How are we doing? Um, I hope you everybody's had a fantastic weekend and it's Monday again. I can't believe that um it's it's Monday again. <laughs> another, another week is done of the summer. So soon soon it will be Christmas. <laughs> um right, okay. I just pressed the thing to go live the button to go live and I <laughs> the microphone is still up for Brenda so I'm just going to very quickly sort the microphone out and give it to her otherwise you won't be able to hear her so much <laughs> we've been chatting here for the last half an hour and it's always in the last minute you think oh have I done this have I done that have check 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 and you press you press to go live and like oh the microphone so give it give us two secs and I will change the microphone source around so you will be able to hear her as well. Um, this is the one. There you go, lovely. I've got mine. I'll just give oh. it to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm scared to do this now. It's frightening, isn't it? Good, good start for the week, eh? Like, good start straight away. Go live. <laughs> Forget the microphone. Right, so let's plug that in. Line out. TTRS, there, that's the one. So I'm going to plug this in and then change the microphone source. There we go. So, uh, uh, uh. Right, can you hear us? Can, Brenda, can you talk as well, lovely? Yeah, I'm here. Cool. Can you hear? Let us know in the comments if you can hear us <laughs> loud and clear. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Morning. Good morning. Let's let's start again. So I'm just going to switch the camera so you can see Brenda as well. <laughs> she's, she's, she's here in the room as well. <laughs> so how is everybody doing? Um, let, let, let's sort of start all over again. Let me just clip this up here and then we just leave it there. Everybody's saying good morning, Kitty and Brenda. Good morning, Annie. Good morning, Joy. Robin saying good morning. Miriam, good morning, Sue. Girl, um, say hello. Um, um, that, that's a lovely name, but I don't, I'm not sure that... Um, maybe Dutch? <laughs> the stands, beautiful. Good morning, Mina, Ruth, Sheila, Camille, Sue, Alicia, Annie, Dee, Karen, Lucy, Joe, Jan, and Judy, Charlotte. Francis, Camilla, I can't, I can't, I was, I was going to go like with like how many names I can say in one breath, but I can't, I can't say it all. Good morning, Edward, Dawn, Judith, Isla, Sue, Carol, oh bless you, there's so many of you love Lorna, good morning, so many love you, are here. there seems to be a delay on the sound, is that from me or is that from Brenda? How much of a delay, can hear but volume down. That would teach us to chat so much. I know. <laughs> so I've turned the, the volume up. How about now? Can you hear us now? It's definitely. It's definitely. This is the microphone. Seems fine on mine and Lucy's saying. Judy's saying, hi, Brenda. Hi. Can, you, can you hear but volume down? So I turn the volume up a little bit. I'm see if I can turn it up on here, on the receiver as well. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Right, volume. Six. There we go. So that's all. It's turned up everywhere. Everything seems <laughs> fine. Karen saying like, Phew. good. Okay. Ta ta first time. So it was all technological problems sorted. I mean, you should have seen me yesterday with Natalie trying to do what we were trying to do, like trying to set everything up on the laptop, and ne like, uh, like neither of us really knew what we were doing, but we we managed it in the end. I think it was like luck. <laughs> Luck's got a lot to do with. It. Right, okay, Brenda, what are you going to show us today, lovely? Um, we're going to show you these bracelets, let the me, cute bracelets. Let me just turn you down onto the table. Um, they look beautiful. 
So how did you come up with this pattern? Um, just playing around with um, the the middle bit. The, is, it, is it brick stitch? Yes. Yeah, just playing around with that. And I'd done something previously um, where I'd alternated where the cubes were, but I wasn't happy because it wasn't sitting right. So I, I, I got it out of my stash and just played around with it again. And that's just how, how it evolved, really. And it was like, I, I know first you did it with... Um, pearls. With pearls. Yeah. And I was like, oh, your those pearls are look nice. But I know what would even look nicer. And we put the cubes in it and it just, it just brings it all together, doesn't it? Yeah, because it... it, it it squares it off better, doesn't it? Yeah. At the at the at the tops. Yeah, yeah. That they they are really beautiful. And they're they're quite an easy make as well, because as you say, I don't do really difficult. And he said, I have already ordered the silver one. You look lovely, Benda. Sheila is saying. <laughs> Thank you. Still echoing here, going out and back, see if they, that's help. Please do let me know because then we will, I will try to change the, a bit more around if we need to change the sound a bit more. Maybe because like we both like, but no, it shouldn't be like we're quite close to each other. Right, mm. okay, so um, we are down on the mat now. So which um, color would you want us to demo with? Um, do you want to, can you show oh. off the colors? I know there's going to be a little bit of a, I was going to demo coming, with the pink. coming around, yeah. but I'm going to just show you, put this here for you. Okay, so you got, right, yeah. If you forgot this as well, I forgot to give Brenda her confidence monitor, sort of. Well, I don't know if like, it's confidence or not. I <laughs> 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 don't like looking at myself on the screen. <laughs> But then so she can see, see mm. she can see what we're doing. I don't know what we're thinking this morning, but never mind. Here, mm. we, are, here, here we go. It's going to be a good one. Lucy, I've put the link in there as well, where we're quickly going to pop you over to the website and going to show you them. Um, Simon has bundled them all up together for us. I'm just going to close, move this over, just move a couple of windows over and very quickly show you. There we go. So, um, you know the drill now, totallybeats.co.uk. You're going to go on to video tutorials or you're going to go into categories and choose it from there. Hundreds of tutorials going back, cube bracelet today, and there is all um, seven colors there. Because <laughs> Brandon did like three colors and I was like, mm, Maybe we can do more. We can just play with colours. You, you know, you know me and colours. We love, we love our colours. So we got a blue iris. You got dark turquoise, half silver, olive, purple iris, teal, and you have a rainbow one. These are the colours of names of the crystals as well. So if you have got any of those crystals, then you know exactly what they look like. They are all really mm. beautiful. Now, um, there is a bit of a discount on there. So Simon has put a 10% discount on there and one kit makes you two bracelets so for seven pounds you can make two bracelets not one but two bracelets so that's mm. that's really really good value right i'm going to come back to the screen and um, back to our little demo here so i'm going to demo over the pink one i think kitty if that's all right yeah the, you can do whichever one you like lovely mm -hmm. i'll just take these away oh that shows up quite nicely as well yeah that's what i thought yeah so i'll do this one yeah yep okay Right, just bring these over. It was all organised before, I mind. I know. I like, let me give you one of these little things. Mm. That's it. Okay, thank you. So you can like, mm. if you need, you need can scoop it up. With yeah, it. that's right. They are so so hand. They so. Um, I got quite a few of them here. They're only fifty p each. So Brenda can just put it on the table and show like what what, we talk, what I'm talking about, these little triangles, because you can scoop up so easily from your mat and then you can like keep your beads in there, keep them organized. I got I got quite a few, got probably about 10, maybe 15 here. Don't mm. <laughs> <the> decide. <laughs> right. Okay. Right, so to start this off, I'm just going to um, bead directly onto the, onto the clasp. Pick up two size eights five of your size 11s three four five go through your clasp 
Can you just come down just a tiny bit, or shall I follow mm, you? Sorry, I've got beads going everywhere there. Okay. That better? Yep. Yeah. Then back through the top 11C bead, just to pull it tight. Okay. Pick up another four 11s. Two, three, four. It's catching in the mat. Three, four. And back through your two size eights. Like so. Is that better? Can you see it all right? Yeah. Okay. I'm following you, don't worry. Okay. All right. And then um, I would suggest you go back through the all the seed beads again and through the class just to strengthen it. So back through the clasp, back to shaking hands again like I did last time. Oh, don't worry, it's fine. <laughs> You're doing very well, lovely. Okay. Oh, 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 oh Brenda. What? I like saying, I love your blue bracelet, Bender. Hint, hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> it's another simple one. And then back through the two eights again, and we're ready to start the next piece. That's it. Okay? So we finish like that with the clasp reasonably secure. Okay? Right, now you pick up two size eights, go back through the top of the, the other two, back up again to secure them. And you've got two like that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And just it's just a question now, just repeating that for as long as you need it. But what you have to remember with this is that um, when we come to add the other beads on, we're working in sections of three. So your final length of your bracelet must be divisible by three. Yeah. Okay. So um, for a normal size, well, for my sort of average size bracelet, I'd probably be putting on between 51 and 57 um, lots of twos depending on how tight you want it. If, you, if you've got a kitty size bracelet, she's got a bigger wrist, then probably go into the 60s, 60, you know, something like that. You know, at the weekend, like well, I had Natalie down and uh, Natalie has got the even smaller wrist yeah. than, um, than Sarah had. Like, me. Her wrist is like, probably as small as my Lucy's, my, 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 my Lucy Lucy's. It's very, very tiny. I was like, it must be so nice because like when you make a bracelet or anything, you only have to do them like small and you don't yeah. have to, like for me, it takes me, like whatever I do, if I do a stitch bracelet, it takes me an extra half an hour longer just to, <laughs> just, just to, just to finish my bracelet because my wrist is bigger. Yeah, I, after, uh, to be fair, I notice that when I'm doing samples for you because yeah. obviously I stop at a certain length, but we make all the samples up to sort of a certain size for yourself, don't we? And it's, it's not it just ju takes that, just that little bit longer. It's not, it's not just for sort of myself, but it's like you have to fit on most of yeah. the busts and stuff exactly, you have. Exactly, yeah. And it's better if they're all the same size, yeah. I'd rather than one of them looking smaller and the other one is looking bigger. Mm. So, no, but I, I do, I'll, I'll um, I don't know, we're all different, I guess. Yeah. But then, that, but then, like I do say, sometimes ladies say to me that they like that because I always design the kids sort of my size so they know that it's going to fit everybody. Yeah. But even if you've got, a, you know, a standard size wrist, some people like their bracelets tighter, don't they? So they're quite snug on the wrist. And other people like them slightly loose, so they sort of dangle over the wrist, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I so like... Um, there was a really nice crystal bracelet by one of the brands but I really 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 wanted this was like a two or three years ago and the large one fit me but it wasn't too tight but it was just like and I, I like it a little bit loose mm. but this is the beauty of making your own jewelry you get yeah. to do the size what you what you want it to be yeah yeah So 
So this is you know, it's quite repetitive, but okay. um, you need to do this bit to get the obviously to get the base of the bracelet. I'm not going to do a full size one today. I'm just going to do a shorter one. So hopefully we can do the bracelet right from start to finish. Assuming we've got plenty of time. <laughs> oh, we are. We are we're fine. Yeah. We are very fine. Yeah. Yeah, Lucy's saying, I seem to forget everyone has a different size wrist. I make everything my size. We can't all be the same, but we are lovely. Yes, absolutely. That's why sometimes with these, with a beaded bracelet, I, 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 if I can get hold of them, because it isn't always easy to get hold of them, I'll bead onto a closed ring first. And then you can add, yeah. extend it with, with jump rings and, and the clasp. But they're not easy to get hold of, the, the small um, closed jump rings, are they? Victoria said she's placed an order. She's getting the tailbone. Lucy said this bracelet looks easy to do so far. Told you it was a simple pattern. <laughs> Jenny saying she, she's done some making for her daughter and, and extending it is really handy. Yeah. Yolona is saying my wrist is just under six inches, so I sometimes have enough beads to do an extra bracelet. Yeah. Oh, bless yeah. you. And also it gives you the opportunity, if you don't like the clasp, you can change the clasp easily. Um, so he's saying she's got one daughter with a very small wrist and the other one is the same size as her and I'll do a, 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 the lack a bit looser. Mm. I'd say we're all different, aren't we? Oh, thank you so much for the stars, Charlotte. Really, really appreciate it. I hope we're going to see lots of you ladies at um, the Open Day on Saturday if we can make it. Oh yeah, I, I, I'm really, really looking forward to it. Yeah. Like the open day is, is I don't know, but because like we, we last, we, a year before last year, when we were in, that's in like, you know, we, we had an open day like every month and we had the beat club and everything else. And like you, like day in and day out, like you were in contact with like people all the time. And I'm, I'm not saying it was like normal, but it was it definitely now. It feels like, oh, it's an open day. It's, it feels like really special <laughs> that we get to meet people and we get to be with people. So I'm going to, I'm planning to putting the table outside and the same as we did last time. We might even put a couple of tables outside so we have more a space to, to sit around. Hopefully the fingers crossed that it's not going to rain and, um, and we can all sit outside and chat. So I think they're planning to do the one way system still. So you come in like we, we have to stay safe. So we have to we have to monitor it very closely. So they're still going to do the one way system. And um, so you come in on one end and go out on the other. But um, I'm going to be putting um, tables outside. Just so anybody who can come, just come and have a coffee and sit and chat. Long chat for some Long of us. Chat, it was. Yeah, it was so nice. It was really, yeah. really nice. I had to almost throw a couple of us out. No, you didn't. Don't be silly. <laughs> we were there right to the end. But that's the, that's the good thing about it. Like yeah. you know, it's just lovely to see all you know all the people that we used to see, and also put faces to some of the new names yeah. that Lindsay, we've. Things that came down and Sue came down. Yeah. And there's uh, so many different people came down yeah. that it was really nice to do and he's saying i i wish i did not live too far i would love to come on to the open day well you have to make a weekend of it i mean like we live by the seaside and like there's so that the mm. the seafront is really nice like we got really nice sandy mm -hmm. beaches here so like you know maybe maybe you need to ask hubby for a special day out or a special <laughs> yeah, get him to drop get him to drop you off and then take the kids down the beach while you have a spending spray yeah, or exactly. a, you know, look around the warehouse you know and a chat yeah uh, but then don't forget even if you come with hubby he's not going to be on his own because they're most more often there are like some people come with their like some hubbies comes with their wives mm -hmm. so and then they just sit outside in the hands with that's why we put the the table out and they just chat as well so right, i'm just going to count these Jeremy's saying i think i have to make a day out oh robin say i love it blake was so cute he was the 
<laughs> he was the one by police, yes, he was. <laughs> he like, was funny, no. Because he set the system up oh, that, um, like, for people to kind of like go in one way and last time. So I don't, I don't know actually. I don't know who's working on um, on Saturday. I haven't talked to Simon, but um, um, I, I'm sure he's he's usually in for open days, so he probably will be there. The master Luis, of organisation. Louis is saying, the problem is if I come to the warehouse, you might have a problem getting me to leave. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't worry. We, we don't want you to. We can stay as long as you like. Right. I think this is probably as long as I'm going to do now. I've, I've actually done um, 36. Okay. Yeah. Um, so now... I think I'll put the clasp on the other end. So we do exactly the same as we did before with the four C beads, uh, five C beads, sorry. Four, five, yeah, five, that's it. Through the clasp. Back through the top C bead. Add another four C B uh, elevens on. Three, four. Yeah, back through the two eights again, and then go around one more time, just to secure it a little bit more. Is that clear enough for everybody? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Back down. Camille is saying just beads, no food. Well, we had we had biscuits out. We had we have biscuits and and um, tea and coffee. Oh, plenty of tea and coffee. Yeah, definitely. We got this big urn. <laughs> it takes forever to heat up the water, but once it heats up, it's like there's so much hot water in it, and someone kept filling it up. That's him. Yeah, right. Um, oh, Lucy is saying food not not important. <laughs> <laughs> what I tend to do because I don't normally work in very long lengths of, um, and I've left the the bobbin on the other end. I'll sew off this piece where I've put the clasp on, and then start doing the adding the other beads from the bobbin end. So basically, I'll just sort of go up and down the, the next sort of um, you know couple of beads, tie it off with a double. Um, not I think like you know like so far it's really nice and easy even for like a complete beginner like you, you could do mm. it and then just really throw and then tie, uh, cut that one off I don't think I've caught the threads anywhere. Yes, I have. I thought I might have done. It might do so okay for now. It's only a sample one. Right. Now just thread my needle, so bear with me. <laughs> Margaret's saying, sorry I'm late. Got chatting to neighbour. Looks interesting. Well, you're welcome to our little live here. You can, after when we finish the live, you will be able to go on and watch it from the beginning. Lorna is saying, I like you have designed the ends, adding your class, but the bits I struggle with um, adding the class neatly. I think like... I know mm. like different, I, I, if I can, I like to start with the clasp and bead all the way along and then finish with the clasp. And then sometimes like, like for example, Sarah, she would make the bracelet and then add the clasp on it at the end. I think it depends like sort of what you're used to doing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Let's get rid of these eights because we don't need these anymore at all. This is saying she thinks she always rushes the end. I think it's nice to get the ends done first, personally. But, um, yeah. 
you know, it's, just, it's, it's what suits you best, really, I suppose. Everyone's got their own way of beading, anyway. Right, just put those there. Okay. I'm just going to come back to the main camera until you're getting ready there on the table. Yep. I love it. I, I think that we'd like spa anything sparkly. I love it. I really mm. do love it. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. Right, so you've got your thread coming out of the the two eights, okay? Now you pick up two 11 CB. Did I say two or three? I've forgotten now. One, two. <laughs> Do you know so long since I've made this? Is it two or three? I can't remember now. Hang on. Try two, try three. Yeah, I think it's three. Three seed beads, a cube. Let's bring those over so you can see them. Yeah, and another three elevens. One, two, three. And this is why I say when we're talking in sections of three, miss one of the, the sections of the eight and go down the next one. And that way you'll find that your, your cubes sit nicely over the top. Then come back up through the next slot. Caught in the mat now. And do the same thing again. Three seed beads. Two, three, one cube. Three seed beads. And back down through the next. Miss one, the third one you go through. You see that okay now? Yep. Yeah? Okay, and just carry on doing that until you get to the end. So I'll just pick pick it up and do it. Because otherwise, I'll keep stitching into the bead mat. <laughs> yeah, this is the mat. Eh? Yeah, we stitched a bracelet to the mat. Oh, I do it all the time at home, stitch to the mat as well. Terrible. Yeah, I I I do all sorts of things after mm. you think about it. But these cubes are lovely, and they've got a nice um, sparkle to these ones. Because, um, I don't know, this was a couple of years ago, but um, I haven't sewn like a button on for years and years and years. And um, I sewn the button on wrong. <laughs> I sewn it to the wrong side of the shirt. <laughs> and I was thinking like, what a silly sausage I am. So taking it off and, and like, you know, because like, it's, it's like a very, very silly mistake to make. You kind of like get really... Um, frustrated with yourself so I was like huffing and puffing and I said it's not gonna break me I'm gonna I'm gonna sew it and then guess what happened like the second time because like I guess I was so like anxious with myself I saw it on the wrong side again and I was thinking I kind of and then <laughs> I laughed up. at myself and the th a third time lucky as they say the third time I did mm. it I did it right but I couldn't believe that how silly sausage I was sewing the button onto the wrong side it's funny you can do that, you know, things you've done, oh, no yeah. trouble for years and years and years, all of a sudden, it, you know, you, you just can't do it properly. And then, then you like, in beading as well, like I, I, like I did it, like sewing, sewing on a toggle class and then sewing on like two, a, a ring on either side. Yeah. Because you suppose, like you add the T-bar on one side, the ring on the other side, and you just like, you get, you know, maybe... I don't know, watching TVs or, or, or something at the same time and you just get caught up and, yeah. But I, I, I do, we all do silly things, I guess. Yep. Yeah. It's sort of coming on quite nicely, actually. I really do like this pattern. I, I think, like... You know, stuffs like we, we we often talk about like handmade and homemade, and I always say that like handmade doesn't have to look like homemade, mm. and handmade like which you can make at home is like you can look very professional. Yeah, because when I when I well, so what's the difference between like handmade and homemade like? what like the kids do in <laughs> when they make you like all these little things and they bring you home from school that's kind of like 
homemade because like that that's that's and then handmade is anything else what you would craft with your hands so I always say like I love techniques like this which is like really easy but in the end of the day you're gonna get a professional finish mm. with it I mean this isn't a, what I call a super smooth um, flat bracelet but um, I don't you know it, it, it I think it sort of stands out because it isn't super smooth but then, like, you got a necklace there as well. So yeah. if you wanted, you could grab some 6mm cubes and add 6mm cubes to one side, and then it's going to slightly make into a fa fanned necklace. Yeah, we could show that, actually, Kitty. Have you got yeah. your... Are you down on screen? No, you, your hands are on screen. Oh, OK. I'll show it to them when we've done this, yeah? <laughs> yeah, you, you got it on your yeah. table. Did I give it to you? I think you've given you yeah. examples. When, when we've done it, we show it to you. Yeah. So I play around with that one as well. There's so so a lot stitches like this are so versatile. There is so many different things you can do with it. No, I'm near, almost at the end of this row. If we'd have done a full length brace, it would never have got it done. We just have to stay play longer. Well, there, there is that, I suppose, yeah. It doesn't really matter. No. Chef said, good morning, good morning, love you. So, morning, Brenda, chef. you look less, you look good. <laughs> Not quite as nervous. Um, she but... said she's looking forward to see us all at the open day. Oh, it'll be lovely, Chef, it really will. Have a good natter and a catch up again. Victor is saying she would like a necklace kit with you, so the. the we didn't do a necklace kit, but uh, we just played around with adding the six mil mm. cubes in there. All you'd really probably need to do would be buy a strand of the, the six, wouldn't it, Kitty? Because mm. I think you could um, probably yeah. get enough out of it. Because kit. you've got so, so much, like you're 100 cubes in there, so you've got enough. Yeah. I think I made a bra bracelet. And the necklace, just uh, out of one kit, and then just yeah, add, and just added the, the into it. yeah right. So I come to the last one, and we go back down through the original first two of the eights, okay. And we're going to do now add the the cubes on the other side. I think that's looking quite nice actually. Yeah, yeah. I love that colourway. Yeah, it's beautiful colour. I think it's probably one of my favourites. Mind you, I like all of them, but there you go. And we pick up the three again, and a cube, and the other three, okay. And we go back down this one here, which is where we put went through for the first lot of cubes, but only go through the two eights and pull through. And then you thread back through the row of the second set of where we added the cubes. And it just secures that section in like that. And then we just repeat that all the way down again. Three. Back through the two eight C beads. And down through the next two. And then you feel that side up as well? Yeah. All the way? Yep. If you don't get the cotton cork around your clasp, that's it. I mean, you could, in theory, if you wanted to, you could leave them all loose like that. Yeah. Along, you know, if you wanted something really sort of um, fluid or something. Oh, Chef is saying, I've been looking forward to seeing you and spending some time together. To me, it's like it's getting out of prison. Oh, bless you. It's like meeting up with family, isn't it, Chef? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think it's still like, we still, everybody's really careful. I mean, we, we, we popped into the, actually the shops yesterday and um, half the people, like, like the supermarket shop, uh, and half the people weren't wearing masks. And I was just like, mm, I'm not really sure about this one. So I'll, I'll still wear mine, but um, it's just one of those things. Well, I when I went to the theatre last night, um, we were all wearing our masks to go in. Yeah. But once we got seated, 
then obviously the masks came off. Yeah. Um, but it, it was, you know, the atmosphere in the theatre was absolutely fabulous because it was um, the, the first performance that this um, particular um, band had done since coming out of lockdown and the enthusiasm on their faces was Aww. absolutely, you know, it was fabulous. The atmosphere was great in there last night. Everyone was up on their feet and, you know, sort of um, enjoying yeah, themselves. That's what you need really, isn't it? Oh, it, it gives you such a lift, it really does. We're about halfway across, so I think that's looking all right. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Oh, she'll be saying, you are 100% right, Brenda, you are my extended family. Oh, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, your kid is adopted mum, though, Chef. Oh, oh, she's. She all, all of you are. <laughs> <laughs> Ruth is saying she still haven't seen her sister. Oh, and Gwen is saying, I like the blue one Brenda got on. This one? Yeah. You see it all right, yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's a little super duo. Yeah. That looks really good. Yeah. Another one, it's very, very easy. Well, I must be like everybody else. I must have hundreds of super duos in my stash now. So it's just a question, you know, finding something to do with them all, isn't it? Yeah, but it's so, like for me, like there is so many different patterns, there's mm. so many different things you can do, it's just like not enough hours in a day to try it all out. Exactly, yeah. That's, that's, that, that's the thing. Yeah. Yeah, I've done that, this uh, blue bracelet, I've done it in a pink and a cream before, now that looked nice as well. Yeah. <laughs> Lucy is saying, tutorial for the bracelet that you're wearing next, Brenda. Ha -ha. <laughs> <laughs> we can always do that, it's not a problem. Oh, Linda is coming on Saturday. She said, I'll be there looking forward to seeing you all. She's not camping this weekend then? I think you're back, Linda, aren't you? Now. She's been gone for like five weeks or something like that, a very long time. She's been selling beads while she's been camping, no, selling oh, jewellery. Uh, jewellery, she said she yeah. put a little, little table at the front of her caravan and then um, yeah. she sold quite a few bits of pieces. Good which for is her. Good, 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 really good. Are there many craft fairs opening up now? Do, yeah. I think they are starting. I've seen a couple of things on Facebook that people were going mm. to. Right, we're getting near the end again. One, two, three. Cube. One, two, three. One more to do. It grows quite quickly. It does, actually, yeah, yeah. Right, the last one. Ah, uh, Sue's saying, I have so many different families. She said on here, rock horror, music festival, different crafts, absolutely. <laughs> oh, Victor says she would like a Super Geo bracelet tutorial as well. <laughs> Less. Okay, right. Again, we come to the end and we just go right through the last two eights and then go through all three of the 11 seed beads. Okay. Like that. and back through the cube and the first 11 C bead of the next section. Okay, right, and this is where we add our 15s. Just get these out of the way. The thing is that this is like when you run up and down your bracelet is like you kind of need to have the right size of seed beads because if you were adding like 
eight or elevens in here the side would pucker if you don't add one then it would pull together so yeah. like you really need the right size seal bit so the 15s just fit that gap perfectly yeah it was trial and error with them i've got to admit right and then i pick up one 15 bead and go through the first of that next section and back through the first of the one after the cube and just pull and you see it just yeah. pulls it together yeah if you put an 11 in it's a fraction too big but the other thing with when by putting all these little bits in it's also keeping it's strengthening the bracelet mm. as well and through that one so I, I find it like when you run up and down on bracelet like that it's really good because like depending on like what sort of materials do you use but like they can like threads and, and monofilaments they can stretch a little mm. but the more you run up and down the less it's gonna stretch yeah Oh, Lucy is saying to Linda, I've missed you. It's not the same in Beat Club without you. Because Linda is saying, yes, I'm back. I think you must have missed me because I only have been um, away for two weeks. So oh. did, did did you go away, Linda, and then, then came back and gone away again then? Because it feels like you've been away since, like, well, I guess it's June, not that far away, I guess. Was it Linda so, that didn't get a, couldn't get an internet connection last week for the Beat Club or something? I don't know. And if you are not in a beat club, you do oh, need to yeah. check the beat club ad because we always have so much fun in the beat club. We did a beautiful um, pendant, didn't we, last week that Sue did, which was absolutely gorgeous. And it was a, it was quite a simple design. And I think virtually everybody finished it. Absolutely. It was I'm lovely. Sure, you need to check, you need to check yep. the Beat Club out that way. I never know like what, what way to point, but mm. that way. Check the Beat Club out. So it's, we do the classes through Zoom and it's not just for computers. It works on phones, it works on iPads, it works on all sorts of different devices. So it's a really nice one to like, just a little nice, relaxed um, atmosphere, I guess, um, with, um, a lot of lovely ladies coming together, like-minded ladies doing all sorts of different, um, we, every single week we do something different. And I, mm. I'll just pull in what we're doing um, this week, which is gonna be an Arcos necklace. Let me just grab. I'm really looking forward to doing that picture. one actually. What have I got? I might actually have the, the necklace here. So um, mm. I'll, put, I'll pull the picture and I'll show you. And then I grab the necklace while while you're running back up down. Okay, right. I'll come to the the end of that row, and just go through all the three C beads at the end of the last cube. That back down through the eights, and back up through the three C, um, eleven C beads on the other side. If you wanted to, I guess you could go around the clasp, couldn't you? Oh, you could do the grab and the clasp again easily. Yeah. And then we just, it's just a question of repeating it again. And then running up, down on the other side, yeah, adding exactly. the 15s in there. Yeah. So, I mean, how long have we been doing it? It's not, I mean, admittedly this is a short one, but, uh, oh. yeah, well, 40 odd minutes. Yeah. yeah. You could probably make this, you know, if you did a full length one, in, uh, you know, in an hour, hour and a half. But because it's repetitive, you could probably sit in front of the TV and do it. Yeah, absolutely. Which is what I should be doing this week because I am avidly watching all the Olympics. Oh, yes. We've got three gold medals and silver this morning, which was absolutely fabulous. Well, let me see if I can. Like, so this is what we're doing. I'm just pop the picture in, and Brenda's got the the samples there in front of her. Just this one pop here. it on her table, and she can show it to you in the minute as well. Oh, we'll zoom right. out. So this is what we're doing okay. um, this week on Thursday night, and then in Friday lunchtime as well. We're gonna be using Super Duos acorn beads, which <laughs> the ones are called acorns. Mm. <laughs> They're not acorns. They're acorns and the Arcos rather and mm. pearls and seed beads, the really beautiful, beautiful necklace to do. Mm. And um, 
last week we had one with with Sue. Sue was doing a beautiful um, pendant, and then we got um, some other ones coming up as well. Some really. Well, let me just pull some more. We're going to be doing a advancing in right weave. Let me just grab the picture for that one as well. There we go. Advancing in right angle weave, that's the week after we will be doing, like using different size of crystals. This is a really, really beautiful and sparkly bracelet. And the week after that, this Sarah, Sarah, Sarah is going to do, be doing some earrings, some Rivoli earrings. Week after that, Sue is back. She's going to do a beautiful Super Jewel bracelet. And then at the end of August, we'll be working with Monty's. Right, we've come to the end again. And basically, it's just then now um, running your thread off. Um, so I'll go back down through the, the eights, probably, and then across and just tie your your threads off again like we did on when we did the clasp at the other end um, and that is basically your bracelet it's beautiful so yeah I'm quite pleased with that and it wasn't quite shaking quite so much this time <laughs> uh, Ruth is saying everybody needs to be in bead club oh I agree with yeah. that one as well so yeah. check beadclub.co.uk out yeah exactly yeah I'm a bit of a knot there, but it's not. Robin is saying, I feel like I missed so much because I wasn't in class on Friday. So um, those of you who are, you, you can just come for one class and then you get the access mm. to the class. But if you do sign up for a monthly subscription, then you get to be a part of a, a there's a special Facebook, Facebook group for that beat club. And you get to watch back every single thing what we do so um do check it out because like you can go into the group and if you miss a class because you had an appointment or you were away you can just re-watch it re-watch yeah. the whole class and the whole tutorial yeah that's the beauty of it isn't it kitty right so that's uh, your, your bracelet finished i'll show you the um right i'm going to zoom out so you can show the necklace yeah. and uh, and then we can have a look at what well, those arcos yeah the arcos as well yeah so this this was just a trial, but um, I think it worked out fairly yeah, good. Yeah, I didn't think it? it worked out beautiful as so well. So you've got it's exactly the same pattern, but on the outer outer edge we've put the larger cubes. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I think it looks okay. It could work, um, particularly in some of the other colours as well. I think it would look beautiful. Yeah, yeah, maybe we could put something together or again. Yeah. But yeah. So would you be able to just pop the Arcos necklace? Yep, as well, absolutely. No I, ju I just popped it on the side of the table for you. So that's what we're doing. You can do it in so many different colours, but they're, they, they're beautiful as well. So this is what we'll be making on Thursday in the Beat Club. I love that bronzy colour. That's beautiful. You can make it in any colour, really. Yeah. Once the, all, the thing about this and think about the Beat Club as well, that once you master a technique, you can then do your own colors, you can do your own variations. And the, the more you kind of make, 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 mm. and then they're, they're going to come a point is like, well, okay, so what if I add something else in it? What if I add mm. another bead in there? And then all of a sudden you will have a complete different a necklace or bracelet. Oh no, they're absolutely beautiful, those colors. Oh, I love it. I think there's another two, but I think Simon's got it in the, um, the warehouse. Because I've been like mm. sorting out samples this week. But my lovelies, <laughs> that, that's from us today. I'll be back on Wednesday. And oh, Simon took the samples into photograph. But we're going to be doing crystal barrel bracelet. Um, it says they are absolutely sparkling and they are really, really beautiful. I got four new colorways. And that they're just they're just beautiful, just very, very sparkling. So we're gonna be doing those on Wednesday. And Natalie, our lovely Natalie, is gonna be debuted on her own on Friday. So I'm really looking forward to that one. Really, really looking forward to that one. I will be in the background, like just answering any messages or any 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 questions you have. But um looking forward to see what she's been making. She's gonna be doing a few more home deco stuff as well throughout August. So I really, really cannot wait. So 
use and utilize our jewelry making skills in home decor as well right everybody do have a lovely couple of days and i'll see you back on wednesday morning at 10 a.m bye everybody bye, bye.